Hey everybody, it's Daniel from GLB and I just wanted to say Happy Thanksgiving and today we're going to be showing you how to make chicken pot pies, the little um, made out of grains. So they're like little cupcakes almost. Um, now you can make these with anything, you can make them with cooked chicken or you can make them le with leftover turkey or ham, whatever you've got from Thanksgiving. It's kind of nice because then you're not stuck eating just like turkey sandwiches for the next week. And it's a really quick and easy meal. Anyway guys, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is to brown your chicken if you're not using any kind of leftovers. It's going to take about 5 to 10 minutes depending. We used three tenderloins, so it took about 5 minutes on each side. Nice little salt, nice little pepper. And you just want to give them a nice little flip. You want to see nice brown marks on each side. My grill marks look a little bad. <laughs> then you're just going to want to dice up your chicken or your turkey or your ham, whatever you're using. Just nice little bite sized pieces. Just like this. Perfect. Alright, so our ingredients are a cup of chicken, and you can use turkey, ham, whatever, as we've said already. We're going to use chicken because it's before Thanksgiving. Alright, so you're going to use these Pillsbury Grands, a 16 ounce, a can of cream of chicken soup. You're going to use a teaspoon of onion powder or garlic salt. We only have, I believe it's garlic salt. Um, two cups of frozen vegetables. I don't like all the mixed vegetables personally, so I just like the peas, cor uh, peas corn, and carrots. And then we have a half a teaspoon of herbs de Provence, um, and then about a cup of cheese delicious cheese. So now you're going to mix everything together. You're going to mix your soup, your vegetables, all your seasonings, your chicken, and it's going to be your base for your pot pies. So we're just going to mix in this. Perfect. You're going to mix in your seasonings. If you don't have herbs de Provence, you don't have to use it. It's totally fine. Give it a nice little mix. I like to mix it before you add all the vegetables so you know that the seasonings are all well incorporated. Make sure all your vegetables, they're gonna stick. Perfect, starting to look like filling. Awesome. Now we're gonna just mix all of our chicken, all of it, all the chicken, except for the little piece that we're gonna give to the dog. Good. You're going to want to preheat your oven to 375. Good. You're going to take a cupcake pan and you're just going to spray it down very lightly so they don't stick. Then you're going to want to take your grains and you're going to want to separate them into your cupcake tins, however you want to put them. However you want to put them. And then you just wanna, and then you're just gonna wanna hollow out the centers so that you can put all your pie filling in. You wanna do that with every one. Now the dough might fight you on this, so all you gotta do is just work it. It's good though. Takes a minute, but it's good. So now you're just gonna wanna take your filling and you're gonna wanna fill up your little pie pockets. It's about a tablespoon, two tablespoons depending. And then you just want to kind of just fill them up. Make them look all pretty. Perfect. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Try not to just overfill them though. Awesome. So now if you can, you're going to want to take the edges and you're just going to want to pinch them up over your filling a little bit. Not all the way, but just enough so that it kind of keeps the filling in. You're not going to be able to do this with every one just because I found it kind of hard with some of these. As you can see, but it's okay. And you're just gonna pop them in the oven for 20 to 22 minutes, and they're sure they shall stay. 22 minutes. I'm gonna put a pan underneath them on account of I don't trust them, and they look messy. All right, so it's been it's about five minutes till. And we're taking them out so we can put a little bit of cheese on top of them. Look at that. 
delicious cheese. Looks funky, but who doesn't like cheese? After you're done with that, they have to go back in the oven for five minutes. Oh, uh, look, they're done. Nice and cheesy on top. Delicious. Mmm, cheese. And here's your finished product. Alright guys, so it's as simple as that. We have our little pot pies. And they're pretty, they look pretty delicious. I've already broken mine apart. Break it open, yeah. Let's get I've already broken mine apart so it gets a little bit cooler. But yeah, simple little meal made out of leftovers. Alright, cheers. It is quite exquisite. <laughs> yeah, you laugh at that. It's actually very, very good. And very easy to make. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a good Thanksgiving. Thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes. I'll see you guys next week. I would like some chicken, please. Please, a pot pie, please. Please, no. Please.